Hello guys, welcome back to Getroid Tips. Today I'm going to show you some of the main highlighted features of Android 10, which are live caption, smart replay, sound amplifier, gesture navigation, dark theme, privacy control, location controls, security updates, focus mode, and family link as you see in Android 10 website. To show you all these features, I just flashed the Pixel Experience 10.0 in my Poco device. Here you can see that from settings and then about phone. If you don't know how to flash Android 10 custom ROM on your phone, then have a look in the description. We have already covered that in detail. Also if you have any doubts then let us know down in the comment section. So let's see all those highlighted features. Okay, the first one is live capture. Basically, it gives caption for your video that's being played on your phone. But this feature doesn't seem to be available right now and maybe we get that feature update later this year. If you enable this feature, it will automatically generate captions here when you play any video or even podcast or voice message. The next one is smart reply. That is, when you get any message, it automatically detects the text and give you suggestions. If someone sends you an address, then you will be able to open the address directly in Maps without even opening the text message. Also, you can send back a smart reply right from the notification itself. Same way, if someone sends you a website or a phone number, then you will get an option to open the link or call that number right from here itself. I love the way smart reply works since I don't want to open the message for a quick reply. The next one is sound amplifier. So go to settings and accessibility settings. Here you need to enable the sound amplifier. Allow the permission so that you will get a new accessibility menu right in navigation. Also it only works if you plug your headphone into your phone. Basically what it does is. It turns your phone into a hearing aid with the help of headphone. The app allows you to start and stop the amplifier, adjust the boost, fine tuning even for each ear separately as per your need. The noise tab helps you to adjust the strength of the noise reduction as high, medium or even low and choose a better microphone for the real time visualization. Next we have the new gesture navigation. You need to enable these features from settings, system, gestures and then system navigation. Here we also have the 3 button navigation and 2 button pie navigation. But I suggest this new navigation gesture since it is very handy. You can just swipe up to go to home screen, swipe up and hold for recent apps. You can also swipe left or right from the bottom to switch quickly between any open apps. Swipe from either left or right corner from the bottom to access Google Assistant. Swipe from either right or left edge of your screen to go back to your previous page. Also it have an option to control the sensitivity of the gesture for a smooth experience. You can even change it to high or low. The next one is system wide dark theme. You can enable this either from accessibility or display settings. This enables dark mode system wide with majority of Google apps and even some of the non Google apps. But some of the apps still doesn't support this feature. So now you can override the dark theme from developer option to force enable dark mode in all apps. To do so, open the settings, about phone and tap build number for 7 times and confirm with passcode. This will enable developer options. Now go back to system, advanced and developer options. Here you just toggle to on override force dark. The forcing of dark mode seems to work pretty well in non supported apps. Some apps look totally awesome with this new dark theme and unfortunately some don't. The next one is privacy control. With Android 10, you are in control of your privacy with these smart controls that lets you how and when the data of your device is shared. Here you can manage the permission for any apps, hide your password characters while you type, 
lock screen notification settings and much more the next one is location control this is one of the major changes that controls your location access for an individual app it controls your location is shared with apps based on all the time while in use or never share your location access to those apps Next, we have the security updates. Usually Android device already getting regular security updates for system and apps. And now in Android 10, you will get them even faster and easier. With Google Play system updates, important security and privacy fixes can now be sent directly into your phone from Google Play. Just the same way all your other apps update. So you get these fixes as soon as they are available. The next one is focus mode. One of the digital well-being feature introduced to get focus on your work in front of you without getting distracted by other apps, which you doesn't want to use in between. The focus mode lets you select those apps that you need to post temporarily. So if you want to turn off a distracting app while you are doing your work, all you have to do is select the distracting app and enable the focus mode. So those apps will get grayed out and will be completely blocked without distracting your work. And finally, the last one is Family Link. Basically, it is a parental control feature to help your kids by controlling how they use mobile phone by setting screen time limits, view app activity, manage apps, content restrictions, and even see where they are right now. So set up the parental control with Google Family Link on your kid's phone and you can supervise their phone remotely with Family Link app from your phone. If you would like to know how to set up the Family Link on your kid's phone, then let us know down in the comment section. Hope you like this video. Hit the like if you found this helpful and if you have any queries, then let us know down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.